Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick video to explain how you can update the backplane board or the rear board on your Fusion module from Team Black Sheep. Now I got mine as one of the first batch and the first batch or two actually had a different backplane and there is an updated one available that you can buy. It's pretty inexpensive and this is one of those few times that TBS have brought out a product where to improve something it hasn't been done through software which tends to be the way it happens you kind of get the product and they've hidden away lots of features and things and then they get turned on and improved through software updates look at things like the crossfire module with the internal wi-fi antenna but in this video let me show you how i've updated mine show you the difference between the board so you can check whether or not yours has the original board or not and uh, then kind of show you exactly what I did. It's a relatively easy thing to do. You don't need any specialized tools. You just need to uh, have a spare five minutes and a steady pair of hands. The difference on the backboard, TBS haven't really talked about what they've changed to make the module perform better. And from my testing here, absolutely does perform better. There is a noticeable improvement in the quality of the reception and the, uh, the kind of range that you're getting. What it looks like they've done is they have redesigned the backboard. It's a completely new set of electronics. The modules are different, and it looks like they've done some stuff to improve the impedance matching to minimize the losses in that backboard as well. The result is that overall it just works a lot better. Now, if you've bought your Fusion uh, recently, then you'll probably find that the backboard is the latest one. Anyway, it was only the very first lot that came out that had the original board. So let me go onto the bench and I'll show you what I did to put mine in. So the first job of course is to get the module out of your goggles. So remove the antennas. I tend to use something like a lollipop stick just to pry the edges of the cover away from the goggles without scratching anything and then pull the module free. Now this is my original one. Let's kind of have a look between the two differences. Let me kind of move in a little bit fat here. So the original module is here in my right hand. I haven't updated it yet. And this is the new one. So you can see here, it's just the backboard, the bit with the screen and everything is the same. So there's the differences. You can see there, the one with the B sticker on it is the new one. And the one that needs replacing, if you've got that one, I'd recommend going for the update, is in my right hand. And you can see there's a lot more components. The external power connector has moved across. So that's going to be your giveaway, I guess, that you are using the older version. If you are, then it's time to replace everything. Remove the pad from the sticker and then very carefully use gentle pressure to start to undo the pins at the bottom and then gently pull the top part away from the bottom now don't go mad with this adhesive will release and eventually it'll come completely free and clear and you are set so here we are we'll have a proper look at these two different boards so the fronts look pretty similar it's actually the backs that have the giveaway uh, it's got version 1.11 written on the old one and if you have that one, it's time to change. Okay, so now we're going to put the new back plane or backboard on here. So we're going to carefully line up the pins. Take your time. And then what we're going to do is we're going to push the pins in. And then we're going to apply an even firm pressure across the entire board so that the pins are completely seated and the new sticky pad is sticking to the entire back of the module and then it should look like that and there we are we have the new receiver modules uh, all installed and done while you've got it out of your goggles i'd recommend plugging it into the computer and updating it with the latest version of agent once the update is complete then go through the calibration routine you access it through the menu on the goggles full instructions are available in the manual but very simply you select calibration with the antennas off and a VTX off. You go through the first part, then you turn your VTX on to Fat Chart Channel 4, which is exactly 5.8 gigahertz, and then go through the second part, the calibration, and at the end it'll say calibration complete, and you're ready to fly. So it's that easy. Hopefully that helps those of you understand what it is, why it's around, and also how to check whether or not yours needs the update.
Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to Author Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.